Breaking news, the Prop 8 case is back on the fast track with a ruling from the Supreme Court this morning that sets the stage for a huge victory that could come very soon. I'm Matt Baum at the American Foundation for Equal Rights and welcome to a special episode of Marriage News Watch. At first glance it may look like a setback, but it's not. The California Supreme Court ruled today that ballot proponents, like the people who advanced Proposition 8, have a right to assume the role of the governor and attorney general to defend laws challenged as unconstitutional. That means that the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals may potentially find that the Prop 8 proponents have standing to challenge the federal district court ruling that Prop 8 is unconstitutional. But that's fine, whether or not they have standing. What they never had was a case. Prop 8 was exhaustively examined in court and the ruling against it is airtight. The proponents have spent the last year throwing out every trick and stall tactic in the book and for what? They know they can't win. All they're doing is forcing loving, committed couples like Jeff and Paul and Sandy and Chris to wait for the day when they can get married. Well, the proponents are finally out of tricks and momentum's back on our side. Today's ruling sets the stage for a rapid series of victories. So what's next? We're going back to court. December 8th, 2.30 p.m., Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco. We're ready to demolish the proponents' groundless appeal, defend our sweeping victory, and ultimately win full federal marriage equality for every LGBT couple in the country. We'll see you in court December 8th.